Hey, Chris. Morning. Are you on a walk this morning? Yeah, I'm walking the dog. Nice. I'm almost done. I just got back from one. So that means you're on the, well, are you on the East Coast? Chicago. Okay. Where are you? Um, in Atlanta. Okay. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Maddie. All right. I haven't been here for a few weeks, um, so maybe you came in the last couple of weeks. This is my second time. Oh, cool. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you, too. Did you come in from the Bumi Sparsha route? Yeah. I did, yeah. That's nice. What are the other routes people find this by typically? Um, sometimes I just share it with my friends. <laughs> um, but that's a good question. I think that's the main route um, that people come in. Um, but yeah, maybe um, people that have been doing this, sharing it in their communities. That kind of thing. I've been participating in like Lama Rod's practice community for a few months and then found my way oh. to from there. Awesome. Yeah, it's a good community. Hi, Liz. Good morning. How did your thing go last week? It was tough. <laughs> I went to a legislative hearing on some anti-trans legislation um, in our state and um, wrote up testimonies and really supporting other people who were giving testimonies. So, but it was, um, I felt it, it was a practice. It was definitely a homecoming practice. Um, felt like a, uh, yeah, it was hard, but I felt really great, grateful and glad to be there. Good. Yeah. Well, and thank you for the work that you're doing. Yeah. Hi, friends. Good morning. Hi, Tiana. Marissa, Rachel. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. We'll wait just another minute and then get started. Hmm. Hey, there's Karen. Hey, Karen. Good morning. Hi. Nice to see you. Me too. We're just getting ready to get started. Um, so let's all just um, kind of find our, our seat. Hi, Ms. Brenda. Uh, welcome, Ms. Brenda. And yeah, just start to find your seat. Just arriving. I feel like there's so many layers of arriving. The whole practice is really just arriving again and again and again. So just taking a moment to feel your seat. And maybe even wiggling around a little bit, but really starting to let your, bringing your attention to the weight of your body, that these bodies have gravity and weight. And what a blessing that is, it, it connects us. We're like plugged into earth when we remember and we turn our attention to this connection. 
So feeling the places where we are connected to the earth, to our seat, maybe your feet are on the ground, maybe your back is up against the chair, but just noticing these places of stability. Just as like our first greeting this morning. Ah, uh, yes, this is where we are. <sighs> and whatever sigh or deep breath that, that might allow for. Intentionally taking a few deep breaths. Just right here. We start here offering gratitude. Gratitude to this practice. Gratitude to the earth. To this nourishing, always present connection that's available to us. This mother presence. And gratitude to our teachers who show us and guide us and remind us of our true nature, of our Buddha nature. That hold us with love and kindness and remind us again and again of who we really are. Offering gratitude for all that guides us back to love and liberation. And setting our attention that that's what we that's why we practice, we practice to wake up, to be free and help other people get free. And in that intention is also the, is waking up the possibility, waking up the possibility that freedom and liberation are possible. And so we wake up that seed of possibility as well in the intention. Taking a few moments to breathe with that image space. Noticing what that might feel like, what that might look like. And offering gratitude for just the mere possibility of imagining our freedom and the freedom of all beings. And returning your attention to your body, maybe even specifically to your heart or your belly, and just asking yourself, what is it that you need this morning? What do you need today? What is it that you want to put down today? Or remember? Really getting honest with what it is that we need right now. Do we need courage, kindness, softness, stability, humor, play? Do we need medicine? Do we need healing? making space for a few moments here with what it is that you need right now, allowing that to breathe with you.
And it's here in this place that we'll start to invite in our homecoming circle. And this place of clarity of need, offering this over to the beings that care for us, that guide us, that nourish and love us. And we start with our teachers, inviting our teachers to sit with us this morning. All the teachers that have ever had the courage and the clarity and the compassion to say clearly what we are, to say clearly what is here, our Buddha nature, that freedom is possible and that these practices are possible. Inviting these teachers to sit with us. And they can be teachers that you've had for years or teachers that you just had for an afternoon or a moment. Someone that reflected back to you your nature. And inspired the courage and confidence in you to continue in that practice. Again, just reminding yourself that there's nothing you have to be right now. We just invite these teachers to sit with us exactly as we are. And next we invite in the teachings, the poems, the songs, the scriptures, the mantras, the words spoken, sung, written, that have sometimes felt like clues reminding us, waking us up, Remembering us home. What are those? Inviting them to sit with you this morning, to be with you. That poem that you go back to again, that prayer that you go back to again and again. The chant, the song. Surrounding you here in your homecoming circle this morning. Noticing the warmth and the glow of these guides as they come in and sit with us, how they be with us. And next we invite in community. All the communities that have cared for us, that have seen us and welcomed us, where we have felt comfortable to be ourselves, and not just comfortable, but celebrated as ourselves. And in this, I also include the possibility of this beloved community for the times where we didn't know it was there or the times it wasn't there. In this homecoming circle, we also include the possibility 
that all beings across time and space may always be celebrated exactly who they are. And that includes us. So we start with us, including in all these communities in the seen and unseen world that had our backs, that cared for us. For however long they did, We invite them to sit with us this morning. Thank you. Please be with us. Noticing the way your body felt in these communities. Where your attention was. Noticing even what mattered to you when you were part of or remembering a beloved community. And sometimes as we do these practices, we also are aware of the heartbreak or the hurt that comes when that wasn't there. And so we welcome that too. Noticing this community here that we're a part of right now. Some of us known or unknown, but all showing up week after week to practice remembering who we are. And that's no small thing. And next, we invite in our ancestors and our lineages. This is really a, a bloodline or even a chosen line of people that came before us, of all those that have been at our backs and people that were at their backs and people were at their backs. There is a long line of people that came before us asking these questions, listening, connecting the threads, longing for, reaching for love and freedom. And maybe they did this through their activism or through their teaching, through their artistry. So all the teachers that have taught us these skills and that had teachers and that had teachers. We invite in these lineages and ancestors to sit with us. Who have known us from the moment we took a breath, even before we took a breath. Who have been here waiting for us, always waiting for us to turn and Say yes, thank you, thank you. Remember that we are a long, part of a long line that will continue well past our own life. Welcoming these ancestors to sit with us. Be with us this morning, offering what it is we need to them. And specifically inviting the ancestors from before the times of colonization, the ancestors that remember their own connection to the mother, to the earth, remember their divinity, we invite them to sit with us, to be with us.
Next, we welcome in the earth. The mother. This presence that is always beneath our feet, always supporting us. And all the expressions of earth that have cared for us. The trees, the waterways, the rivers, the four-legged, the winged ones all the beings that habitate with the earth, all the places on earth that have cared for us. Maybe that is a tree or a mountain or a lake or just the walk that you take every morning. Similar to all the guides in our circle, these places on earth that are always here for us. They are always here. And next, we invite in stillness, silence. We invite in that deep, deep quiet, inviting silence just to surround us. All around our body. And then that silence from deep within us. And allowing that to just slowly move through your whole being. That deep, deep quiet. Taking a few moments just to breathe here with that stillness and quiet. And lastly, we invite in ourselves. Every part and version of ourselves. 
all the ages, past, present, and future. The parts of us that we know and that we are familiar with, that we love, and the parts of us that we, we don't know, that are, are hard to, to love or care for, or that feel that way. Every version of us, every part of us, every experience of us, we invite to sit with us, to be here, exactly as they are, exactly as you are, and to join this homecoming circle, to receive this care, Mm. nothing to show, nothing to hide, just right here. And watching how all of these guides and circles that we've invited in are radiating this warm, glowing light all around you. And we'll take a few moments just to allow that, to allow that in. There is a consent that we give in receiving care. We say, yes, thank you, thank you. We allow that love and care and warmth to move through our body to all of our places and parts and cells, lighting all of our cells with this gentleness, with this care, almost as if they start humming. The cells in our body start humming this sweet, sweet song so gentle. And we allow that glowing, that humming, that care to start to vibrate through our whole being, moving out just beyond our body and the whole space around us. Not something we have to hold on to because it just is. It just is. I'm taking a few moments to breathe here. And offering this humming, this light, this care, offering this to all the beings in the world that have forgotten, all the beings in the world who are in need of it, or maybe there's a friend, a community. Offering this care for them that they may remember too, that they may receive this care too. And it's not something that takes great effort. Again, it's just a consent of sharing this care with other beings. It's not something you have to try harder at. It just is. I'm 
or the places in the world that are suffering right now. And then watching as all this warmth and light and care, watching as it starts to dissolve inside of us, around us, and into space. Mm. And starting to bring our awareness back to where we began with this connection to the earth, to our feet, to this form, this body. Noticing the connection to the seat, maybe the back of your chair. And just noticing how your body feels right now, starting to give it some gentle movement Offering gratitude for this body. Maybe placing a hand on your heart or wrapping your arms around you or putting your hands on your legs. Offering deep gratitude to this body, this expression of the earth. Thank you, thank you. And if your eyes are closed, starting to Open your eyes and take a moment just to look at the rest of the friends in the community that we didn't do this alone, that we actually did this with each other and with their teachers and their guides and all the land and all the beings that have loved each other. This is what happens when we show up together. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Denise. Mm. and take good care of yourselves drink so much water when in doubt feel your feet <laughs> and listen to Stevie Wonder <laughs> thank you all we'll see you next week thank you Denise thank you community thank you Yana, hi Karen, Astrid, Tracy. Yes, Stevie was just in our town, Tracy. <laughs> Stevie was just in Atlanta. <laughs> He's making his rounds with Kamala. <laughs> that was beautiful to see. Thank you for the beautiful meditation. Thank you so much. Yeah. Karen, I, it's always lovely to see you. So glad you're here. You too. Yes. That was so, so nice. Good. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. Bye. Have a good week. You too. Bye, Astrid. <laughs>